How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. I also got to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. And you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we do this five days out of the work week. Maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, or maybe it was the market conditions. While well, you came to watch this video, plus hear one of my corny jokes. Here it comes. Why did the fish blush? Because it saw the ocean's bottom. <laughs> right off the bat. But anyways, what we're going to be talking about today is OCGN. Of course, they dropped a bomb today inside the market and we're going to be going over it. But before we get started, of course, we got to go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below in the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're considering to take a position, I suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna be going over is the recent press release that sent OCGN surging today inside of the market. We know this definitely has an impact in regards to Covaxin and getting it into Canada and as well as the US, so we're gonna be going over it. Then secondly, we're gonna be doing a technical analysis, taking a look at the price action. There was a lot of volatility inside of the market today. And of course the stock did pull back. So this does open up opportunities. And as far as figuring out, hey, where is the bottom at for now? And then we're gonna be taking a look at the short interest information. We wanna see our short sellers continuing to load up on their positions or is the market sentiment actually getting better for OCGN? And then when all of that is done, I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. So let's get into it. So we're gonna be taking a look at the recent press release that came out for Ocugen. So let's go over it. So Ocugen secures manufacturing partnership for U.S. production of the COVID-19 vaccine candidate Covaxin. Jubilant Hollis Steer to manufacture Covaxin in the U.S. OCGN, a biopharmaceutical company focused on discovering, developing, and commercializing gene therapies to cure blindness diseases and developing a vaccine to save lives from COVID-19, today announced that it has selected Jubilant Hollis Steer of Spokane in Washington as its manufacturing partner for Covaxin to prepare for potential commercial manufacturing of Covaxin for the U.S. and Canadian markets. We are fully committed to bringing Covaxin to the U.S. and Canadian markets because we believe it has the potential to save lives by adding a weapon to the arsenal in the fight against emerging variants, said J.P. Gabriel Ockigen's Senior Vice President Manufacturing and Supply Chain. Securing U.S.-based manufacturing capabilities is a critical step as we prepare to submit our regulatory submissions to the FDA and Health Canada. Based on Barat Biotech's strong track record of developing and commercializing vaccines globally and Jubilant's proven track record in manufacturing, we are well prepared to transition U.S. manufacturing of Covaxin to our new partner. We are excited to expand our basket of vaccine products and meet the increasing demand from our customers for COVID-19 vaccines in the U.S., said Emit Arora, president of Jubilant Hollis Steer. We are pleased to partner with Ocugen and support the ongoing fight against COVID-19 with two facilities in North America working to manufacture multiple COVID-19 vaccines and therapies. We remain committed to supporting the efforts to eradicate this global pandemic, stated Pramod Yadav, CEO of Jubilant Pharma Limited. So this is definitely some great news here for Ocugen and we saw that reflected inside of the market today as well. We talked about this on the channel as far as getting some sort of an update in regards to contracts and manufacturing and we ended up getting it today. So we'll talk more about this when we get into the final thoughts. So we're going to do a technical analysis for OCGN. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $6.26 being up 2.12% on the day. On the low, it tested $6.26, then on the high, testing $7.35. And as you can see what's going on in After Hours currently, it is at $6.35. So taking into consideration what went down today, we ended up getting some big time news what ended up showing a lot of strength for OCGN. So when we take a look at our chart, just for your information, this is the one year daily chart. We are showing strength above the 200 day, but of course we continue to be below the 21 day EMA and as well as the 100 day taking a look at the rsi down below of course we're still in that oversold territory being right around 38 so with that news that came in it was no surprise to see that ocgn was able to get up to around 7 
35. And of course, this is going to be a temporary area of resistance here. If we end up actually passing this level sometime this week, as you know, there's going to be a lot of volatility in regards to the Fed meeting and so forth, then I would nearly look forward to seeing OCGN being able to get to this $8 level. We've already seen OCGN has been able to establish support in this particular area. So I'd want to see this continue. And also if it ends up making even more moves to the upside, that will be great to see as well. And if it's able to do this, of course, it's going to begin to look very bullish again because it'll be reclaiming above back the 100 day and as well getting back to the 21 day EMA if it gets the eight and it makes that push above those indicators. So just be aware of that. And if it does decide to pull back, like I said, just look out for that $6 level, right? We already know it got down to $5.96. So anywhere in this $6 area seems to be the floor for now for OCGN. But of course, we'll wait to see how this week progresses and see what the price action looks like. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information for OCGN. So we can see here the short volume ratio is at 19%. And this is taking close from yesterday. As you can see, it's June the 14th. To put this in perspective, what does this look like? So out of 29.7 million shares I were traded, 5.6 million of those shares were actually sold short. As we scroll down on the page, a short shares availability updated 10 minutes ago is at 300,000. And as far as the short borrow fee rate, it is at 4.28%. As we scroll down further to take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we could see it definitely has gone down. So you can see here back on the 11th, it was as high as 26.62. And now you see on June 14th close, it's at 18.93, which we saw was 19 on a day. So what does this mean? So we had some short sellers that ended up covering their position overall in general. It'll be very interesting to see what the numbers will look like later on in the evening for today. But it's also good to see in the fact because this does show as far as where the price is settling at for OCGN, there's a lot more positive market sentiment around it. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So for my final thoughts for OCGN, it was great to hear that they got a manufacturing partner in Jubilant, Hollis Deer, for Covax and to get it into you. US and as well as Canada. One thing to do keep in mind of the fact this is something that we've brought up on the channel and the fact that they were able to get some sort of a deal done definitely gave a lot of investors a ton of confidence. We saw this especially how it moved in regards to the pre-market. Of course we had a lot of volatility inside of the market today which was to be expected and I told you guys about this but again when you look at those pullbacks if you have high conviction you see them as opportunities. Another thing to understand when we took a look at the short interest information hey we have short sellers who have been covering their positions so as far as finding a bottom for OCGN we saw that five dollars and 96 cents we also see that six dollar level the matter of the fact is it didn't get back down to that six dollar level for today and it looks like it's going to be having a lot more momentum so we definitely be keeping this on your watch list and again as far as what your cost average is concerned start looking at it and saying, well, you know what, how many shares can I buy to actually make a significant impact, especially so since I can maximize the profit return when the stock decides to run up even further. Do keep in mind, this does not guarantee anything. Again, this is on the potential and it's based on them getting this FDA approval and making sure those clinical trials go to the guidelines that FDA has lined out. So if everything goes according to plan, things are definitely looking good for Ocogen and as well as Barat Biotech. If you have high conviction, things are looking really great for you. I, for myself, I am not in this play at the moment. I want to make sure I'm transparent with you guys and you are aware of this. But at the same time, I want to see Covax succeed and be able to penetrate into the US and the Canadian markets. Hope you guys found this video helpful and we'll be talking real soon.